Monday, October 7th, and there's a lot going on still in the Middle East. Specifically, I want to talk about crude oil charts because we're looking at the possibility of Israel looking to strike against Iran, which would affect its trade and supply of oil potentially. And more than that is the Strait of Hormuz, where there is a lot of export action. All of this could lead to some massive supply issues for oil. So let's go ahead and look at the charts to see what they're telling us. So if you're new here, I'm Hima Reddy. I use price action, market timing, and momentum, my RSI power zones down below, to boost my trading and that of our tribes. I have a monthly chart of ticker CL here, futures contract. It is a continuous contract chart, meaning it is taking history from the prior contracts as well. Oil trades with 12 different contracts a year, different than index futures, which just have four a year. Either way, let's look at the price action and be more focused on the positioning of highs and lows and the dates. The actual price levels will be different if they're hit out in the future because of the contracts rolling. You can see that oil has been essentially consolidating since March of 2022 getting a little bit more narrow in its range over the past several months. And we can draw some trend lines here. I've added in two here, one from May of 2023 connecting to December of 2023. The other is a falling trend line from September 2023 connecting to April of 2024. Now you can see that the lower trend line has been traded through, but we're coming back above and coming into the falling red trend line. Looking at the RSI power zones, the action has been essentially consolidating, but still holding the bull support power zone on the monthly time frame, in line with the larger uptrend that had preceded the consolidation from April 2020. Now let's go to a weekly chart. I've readjusted the trend lines to fit the exact price levels in the weekly chart, so there's more detail now in the action that's unfolding. And you can see that oil has been on the rise the past couple weeks. Now it is coming into some resistance. The high from the week ending August 16th and after that would be the high from the week ending July 5th. If it's able to get through all of that then there's this key range of resistance which I would look at importantly for the high low and middle again all tying to the week ending September 29th of 2023. Now again I'm focusing on the dates of the candles because depending on when oil trades to these levels these exact price levels may change on the continuous contract chart. That's the nature of futures contracts rolling because contracts trade at a, a premium or at a lower rate depending on what's going on the markets. All right, now let's take this and look at the support. So sure, everyone is expecting that oil might be pushing higher, but we are coming into this falling trend line. And that may be providing some important short-term resistance. So what if future contracts roll over and instead trade lower? What would that look like on the weekly chart? The first support is last week's low. Then we have the low from the week ending September 13th. Then we have the week ending December 15th. And you can see after that is a huge range. We've already tested the middle of it. But the low from the week ending May 5th, 2023 is very, very important to shaping this entire range. All right. On the daily chart, same action. Now we get in more narrow. Let's adjust the trend line to make sure it's exactly as it needs to be. And you can see that we are coming into the range from August 13th. The middle of that bar, currently at 76.76, is very close to this falling red trend line. And notice that the RSI power zones are not only near the bear resistance power zone, they're also near a recent peak back from July, which coincided with a big move. So it's very important to study the RSI power zones as they relate to themselves in a particular security. So the basic education for this indicator I have in my four zones RSI coverage system, and that is a great foundation and gives you great setups and a complete approach. If you want to squeeze more out of the indicator, I highly recommend my advanced RSI power zone system. If you're in my tribe, you've been getting emails about it. We have a sale on it finishing up soon, 
And this is where you start to look at the RSI specific to itself on its security. And it can be very, very insightful to help manage your trades and initiate new ones. All right, let's look at the price levels on the daily and see if we have any additional to add. So in addition to the 7676 on the upside, I would look at this entire range, this big outside bar that formed on October 1st. The high of that bar, 7194. The middle of that bar, 6914. Those are two important supports along the way. The more important of those being 7194 because it's also near this previous top that came in on September 24th. So here's what I am looking at for oil in the short term. Notice as, as I'm progressing, I'm going in, zooming in more on the data. Right now, the contracts are poised to trade higher into 7676 and this falling red trend line, which originates at the September 20, 2023 high connected to the April 12th, 2024 high. And it was confirmed again in July of this year. If it's able to post a closing break above the nearby resistance at 77.75, the August 13th high, well, then I think oil would be more poised for a really substantial breakout initially to the 81 area. However, if it's not able to climb above this zone of resistance, then I would watch out for weakness back towards 72.40 to 71.94. Again, this old top and the top of this price low. It may fall lower there. And again, because this lower green trend line has already been traded through, it's less substantial. So I'm going to make it a dash line because I don't want to put a lot of weight on it. But it also hasn't really been defeated by bears. So we could see weakness back into that 68 area before longer term bulls attempt to resume higher. So oil is in a bit of a watch and wait see mode. However, there's definitely important levels that are in the short term. On the daily RSI power zones, we are, like I mentioned, in a, a nearby a previous overbought level, which may mean that the current upside is limited before there's a pullback. All right, well, if that was a helpful insight to you on where oil looks like it may be headed and on price action, market timing, momentum, and more, go ahead and please give this video a like, drop a comment down below with any feedback or any requests of other markets you'd like to see. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can stay on top of all my market updates. And I'll catch you next time.